Hi everyone, it's Kitty. Um, I'm actually doing a video like I said I would, so yay! Um, I'm still trying to figure out the lighting in this room. It's not that great. Uh, my videos have been kind of dark the past couple of them. Um, I'll figure it out. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about LARP, because uh, that's what I'll be doing this weekend. Um, if you don't know what LARPing is, LARP stands for Live Action Role Play. Um, and it's basically like Dungeons and Dragons, except instead of sitting at the table rolling dice for your character and that kind of thing, you're actually up on your feet, actually doing the combat, actually talking to the bad guys or the other players, that kind of thing. Uh, you dress up in costume, all that sort of stuff. I play in a couple different LARPs. Uh, the first I play in, the one I've been playing in the longest, is a World of Darkness LARP. Uh, basically, World of Darkness is a line of uh, games set up by White Wolf. Uh, they have like Changing the Lost, Mage of the Awakening, etc. I play in Mage and Changeling, um, and currently a vampire game, which just started. Um, it's pretty fun. It's basically standing up and doing all the acting and everything, except when you get to combat, you do dice rolls again, instead of what is ball for combat, which is with the foam swords and everything. Um, it's really fun. It focuses a little bit more on character development, I think, and social interaction, which is really cool for the roleplay aspect. Um, combat can get really tedious if you have more than a couple people, because well, you gotta wait your turn, and people are always humming and pawing about what to do, and all that kind of stuff, you know. If you've ever played a tabletop, you can totally understand how it would be super annoying, especially when you're standing up, and, you know, a couple of my characters wear high heels, so we're standing around, and I'm waiting for people's turns, and I'm like, oh god, my feet hurt, and, you know. So, but I do it anyways. Um, and then I also play in uh, Inridius Alliance, which is a boffer LARP. Like I said, boffer LARP, uh, the difference is we actually attack each other. <laughs> uh, not, you know, to the point where we can actually hurt each other. People do get hurt, but not intentionally. Um, and it's usually sprained ankles, that kind of thing. Um, buffer weapons are basically foam with covered in latex. Um, kind of like, you know, like the uh, Nerf swords and stuff you would get at Walmart or whatever. Um, and yeah, and we have our actual weapons, we have weapon skills, that kind of stuff. Um, buffer combat seems to be a little more focused on or sorry, Boffer LARP, seems to be a little more focused on combat. But there is still lots of opportunity to roleplay as well, which is really great. Especially, there's a lot of storytellers. There's a few in our group who really like to focus on more of the character development and that kind of stuff. So, you know, some people like to mess with the characters, which is great. Um, so, yeah, now I'm you know, giving you a brief overview of that. Um, I'll also give you links um, to some of my photos and stuff of my characters. Um, I have it on my Facebook page, actually. I'll just put a link below to my Facebook page. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys a couple of things I've made for LARP. Because um, that's one of the things I really love about it. It kind of goes hand in hand with cosplay, I guess, is it really makes you creative for costumes. Because you can pretty much play anything. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is from a game, Changeling the Lost, which is one of the World of Darkness games. Um, basically, in Changeling, you can literally be anything. The premise of it is that you get taken by these creatures called the Fae. <clears throat> they take humans into like the fairy world, which is called Arcadia, and they change you into something else. And you were there during what is called your Durance, um, which could be, you know, endless torture, it could be you were hunted over and over again, it could be you were made to work for something, or you could have just been an ornament on a shelf. Like, you could literally have been turned into anything. Uh, this character was turned into a ram because she was taken by a fae called the Zodiac, who collected champions um, based off of the Western Zodiac. And so this one is Ares. Um, I'm not going to show you her full costume. Um, there are pictures on my Facebook. Uh, her costume's pretty cool. I made her pants out of wool, so. But yes, this is her wig, and it's super long and getting caught on everything. Hang on a second. This is my Aries wig. Yay! Um, basically what I did to make this is I bought these like demon horns. I think I got them off of eBay or like a party store or something. They were bright red and black when I got them. Uh, I painted them with like an ivory white. It took me probably about six or seven layers to cover up all the red. You can still see a bit of the black coming through. I don't know if you can see it in the video. 
but I liked the way it looked. It made it look a little more, I don't know, authentic, I guess. Um, and then the hardest part was trying to figure out how to attach them. Luckily, they came with these holes in the top and the bottom. That's, yeah, right there. So I literally just stitched it into the wig cap, which was quite difficult because it's solid and it was a, kind of a pain in the ass. But I really like the end result. And I know the wig is really messy, but it's supposed to be because my character is really dumb and doesn't like to brush her hair. Um, but yeah, that is my character, Aries. There's a cat in my way. Um, next, I guess I will show you... Well, I, have, I brought this out. It's not something I need specifically for LARP. I actually made it for my roommate's wedding. But I want to use it for a LARP. It's a phoenix mask. Um... I'm not sure exactly which game I'm going to use it in yet, but I really want to use it again because I put a lot of work into it and I burn my fingers a lot of times with glue. <laughs> so I think it'd be worth it to use again. Um, I don't have anything else from my World of Darkness characters because uh, my mage mostly just wears like, you know, clothes. Um, so I will start showing you stuff from IA. I will start with my Philanae, which is like a cat person. Um, this is my fill in a wig. This is for my character Tilly. Um, like I said, she's like a cat person. Uh, I have the full body suit with like a bits of fur and stuff on it and a tail. And uh, She is a scout, which is really fun. It makes her pretty much useless in combat. She hides a lot. But she's really fun to play because she's very... I actually based her off my cat Bronte, which is why she's fun to play because I know my cat very well. So she's really excitable and kind of flighty and affectionate. But anyway, what I did is I got scraps of fur, uh, this black fur here, and I just folded it into like little triangles and I sewed a piece of pink felt in the middle. Um, and then with the tufts kind of on the inside, I guess, sticking out, I kind of sewed it into and around the tufts. Um, and then, like my other wig, I sewed it right into the wig cap, so they are not coming off. Um, which is really good for boffer art, because you don't want to have like a headband or something with ears on it, because they'll come off. You'll get hit in the head, most likely. You're not supposed to hit in the head, but it does happen occasionally. You get like hit by a backswing, and you don't want your ears to come flying off mid-combat, because they could get wrecked, they could get dirty. It's just not, not fun. So, this is my Tilly wig. And these are my paws for Tilly. So let me put them on here. Um, these, basically what I did is I bought a bodysuit for her. Oh, there's dark. Um, and I sewed like a tuft of fur <clears throat> onto the chest, and then I sewed the tail right into the bodysuit. Um, the bodysuit actually came dark. What are you doing? Apparently he's trying to tabletop. Um, they came with gloves, the bodysuit, and what I did is I sewed, these are my gloves, I sewed fur around the wrists, so, you know, the arm of the bodysuit comes right up into here, and with the fur you can't even tell there's a seam. And then I used pink felt to do the paw pads. Um, as you can see, they're pretty dirty. Um, it's mostly actually fabric glue that's showing through, just because the felt has gotten wet, so it's gotten a little more see-through. But also, you know, just even with regular cleaning, it still stains, but it's not a big deal because she's kind of a dirty kitty anyway. But yeah, these are my paws for Tilly. Um, I also have claws, but they're weapon claws, so they're made out of foam, and they're actually wrapped in hockey tape instead of latex, which you can use. I want to latex them, but, you know, it's, I don't really use them that often anyway, so it's not that big a deal. Hi, Bronte. Um, this is another one of my IA characters. Her name is Vanwin, and she is a wild elf. Um, basically, it's exactly what it sounds. She's a wild elf. She lives out in the forest. She protects nature. She's a druid, that kind of thing. Um, because she's a druid, uh, she... Druids basically don't eat plants. They solely... Because they protect us of the forest and that kind of thing. They pretty much eat just, like, bone marrow and that kind of stuff. So what Vanwin does is she usually scavenges. So she will eat... She'll find something that another animal has already come and eaten. She will eat the remnants of that and then, you know, take the skins and stuff to make her clothes. So I made this. This is her top. As you can see, this is not really a winter costume. 
Um, I do have some, like, shawls and stuff, um, so I can use her in the winter, but it still gets really cold, um, because she doesn't have much. But basically what I did for this, um, all of these little pieces of leather are just scraps I picked up at a uh, dress sew, and I got a bra, as you can see, the inside is just a bra, and I stitched every single piece of leather onto this bra. And I don't even know if you can see all the detail on it, but it's all like woven into each other and all that kind of stuff. I spent a long time making this thing. It probably took me about two weeks of sitting down and hand sewing leather. As you can imagine, I had many calluses on my fingers by the time I was done this. Um, and the only reason it took me so long is because I was doing it while I was playing Mass Effect so that I would have something to distract me from the pain. <laughs> So basically I'd, you know, like run through and I'd be like, you know, playing and shooting stuff and then we'd get to a cutscene or like, um, like chat options and stuff and I would sew and watch the cutscenes and every time I needed a text option I would just, you know, pick my whatever and continue watching and then sewing. So yeah, that took a while. And then to go with it I made this. It's kind of like a loincloth basically. I do wear tights underneath, of course. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, once I did the top, I didn't want to just wear the top and then like brown tights. Um, so I took extra, I, it was actually a skirt that I found at Value Village. And I just took the skirt, ripped it apart, tore up the edges to make it look kind of jagged and, you know, not so nice. And I made it into like a wingcloth thing. Um, and I think the last thing I have is for... Ninja um, my character Aurelia, who's also from my A, she is a human, or Argeid, as we, they're different human races. Um, basically the Argeids are based kind of off Romans. Uh, they are kind of, I don't want to say dominant human race, but they're kind of, they like to invade people and take over things. <laughs> um, my character is an Argeid noble, but she's also a fire mage, a chosen of fire. Um, and recently, she helped save a temple of her god, Eos, and she got a bow as the reward. So I now have a bow for Lark, which is great, because I've wanted to get into archery for a long time, and now I have a really good excuse to, like, I have my bow now, I got one for Christmas. Um, I have a few real arrows, and I'll be buying Ba for arrows really soon, too, so I'll be able to practice with both. But what I needed was a quiver. I don't have one. I couldn't find one that was affordable. Quivers are really expensive. They're like $160. Um, and I was supposed to have... Um, I was going to get a friend's quiver to make kind of a template out of it. Um, but I couldn't get a hold of it. So I just kind of had to wing it. Make one up myself. So I spent a couple days and I came up with this. I don't know if you can really see it all that well. There's a little bit of like stitching. Mostly that's, you know, holding all this stuff together. It's kind of dark in here. I don't know if you can really see. But what I did, oh, here's the back of it. Um, what I did was I took pleather that I had laying around, um, and I kind of folded it into this basic shape. I kind of played around with it a little bit until I figured out the shape I wanted. I also had my real arrows here, so I kind of used those as a guide, I suppose. Um, mostly for the length. Uh, anyway, I folded it in half. Well, not in half, but I folded it over and... I don't know if you can really see with the belt in the way, but... Um, there's like a opening here, kind of like a gap, where I folded over the pleather, and then I grommeted it closed. Um, my grommets were really horrible, because I really suck at doing it, but it's the back anyway, so I don't care. Um, I only wanted to do it with grommets, because I wanted it to look... A little more kind of authentic -y, I guess. A little more medieval-ish. Also because I was lazy and I didn't want to sew the entirety of the thing. Because it would be a huge pain in the ass. Um, and then once I did that, I folded, I, well I tucked up the bottom and I put a little stitch right in there. Just to keep it closed. And then I folded over the top here and I just stitched it closed as well. And then I found this, um, the belt part at Value Village, actually, and it came with these rings attached to it. I have no idea what this belt was supposed to be for. I think it was maybe a purse strap, but um, 
Yeah, so I found it and I was like, that's perfect. Um, and it sits in my back like perfectly well. Basically, it sits right about there ish, right there. So it's kind of perfect. Um, and I just used a black ribbon to attach the, uh, the quiver to the belt. And then I have on the ends of, this is why I think it was a purse strap, because it's got these things on the end. Um, and I have another belt that has little grommets in it, which I just clip these right into. So it kind of worked out perfectly. And I'm actually quite proud of the result. I might, I have these other little like studs that I might put in it, just in, you know, like patterns and stuff eventually. But, um, I mean, game is this weekend, so I didn't want to try anything extensive and not have it ready. So, yeah, that's pretty much, I mean, I've made lots of other stuff. Um, if you go to my Facebook page, you you can see photos of my other characters. I think I have almost all of my characters up right now, except for my current mage character and my vampire character. But I'm hoping to have pictures of the two of them up soon. They're not really exciting, they just kind of wear regular clothes. So that's the thing about mage in particular, is you're just a regular person who happens to have magical powers. Um, it's set in real time. Changing's a little more... Uh, creative because like I said you can be anything and people can't see what you actually are they see you as a person so you can dress up as what your character looks like um, and you can still walk around you know downtown in game and people aren't gonna see what you're actually wearing um, anyway um, if you have any more questions about LARP or would like me to elaborate on any of the games or if you'd like to see more of my costumes or anything uh, feel free to comment below and ask or you know, if I get enough questions and stuff, I can make another video, um, or go to my Facebook page and ask me there. And, yeah, I may actually made a decent length video this time, so yay! Hopefully I'll keep doing that. And, yeah, so I'm hoping to have a great weekend, because it's LARP, so I hope you guys all have a great weekend, too. I'll see you later.